Good morning from Brooklyn, New York City. Today is a beautiful summer Saturday morning. And I'm going to talk about my 06 Lincoln Town Car Signature Series. All right, now, if you're wondering why a man in his early 40s, actually, I'm, I'm not in my early 40s anymore. I'm in my mid-40s. A man in his mid-40s living in New York City will drive a car that is known as grandpa car or pretty much you know car that that's desired by old folks well i'll tell you why let me switch the camera to myself for a second and show myself hello my name is yao fusu globe master and um this is my town car now the history of these cars go back to I think the 80s and um, it's pretty much the last American American made big car okay now if I could show you my surrounding here in Brooklyn New York most people drive Japanese cars I mean everywhere you turn except one person one person who is pretty I mean I don't know him that well but you know ever since he saw me with my with my town car we become kind of close he drives this car here a Ford Crown Victoria which is pretty much the same thing as my Lincoln town car except his is more of the how should I put it these were made for taxis and police cars and these these are the luxury version of it okay the town cars cost a whole lot more than than the, than the Crown Victorias so let me give you a little introduction about my car now this car here I purchased it from believe it or not a police officer all right now his father was a police officer too a retired police officer and this is the car he drove until he passed away now this car have a lot of mileage on it over 300,000 miles but it still looked like a brand new car okay these cars were built they were built to survive now let me give you a 360 of this car I'm not gonna change anything about it okay I was thinking about putting like stylish rims but then again I'm like nah it's not even worth putting anything on this car I've put a few things on it like um, like a bumper bully because living here in New York no matter what you do somebody's gonna scratch your cars even with the bumper bully it's not gonna protect it from like the sides because I see scratches already all right now it's not a perfect car it's not a perfect I'm talking about um, in um, cosmet cosmetic cosmetically it's not a perfect car but man this car is great I have I have grown to love this car already okay it's it's a huge freaking car now this car from from tip of the nose to the to the to the rear it's like the same size of a Ford F-150 it's a big freaking car all right now since this was uh was owned by a retired policeman it had tents all around it was all the all the windows even the windshield had tents i mean they still have tents but i'm not going to take it out now but i've taken out um 
the tents on the on the driver's side i mean the, the front the front two um two windows i've taken out the tents because i don't want i don't want to get pulled over for any problem okay let me start from the inside now look how immaculate the inside of, the, of a car that has over 300,000 miles this car is quiet in the inside okay look, look at the back I don't know if you can see much because of the tents but the seats in the back look like nobody's ever sitting on them okay beautiful speakers it smells good in here this car is in awesome shape all right now i was lucky to have this remote that came with the car this remote here have auto start which means in, in the cold in the winter i could start the car and let the car get warmed up before before i before i get inside of it whether I'm at work or before I go or before I go to work, it's it's pretty awesome. I got beautiful alarm system. I mean, there's so much about this car that I love. Okay, now, of course, New York. One thing, one one of the reasons why I bought this car. You see how this how reckless some people drive here in Brooklyn. You got these young guys. Let me turn off this. You got these young guys here in Brooklyn that drives reckless. And most of them drive Honda Accords and um, um, Honda Civics. You know, they soup up these tiny little cars and they drive like maniacs. Okay, here's one of them over there. Just made an illegal U turn and look, look over here. Look at this. Look, this guy. With his little Nissan going around, another guy. They, they just drive reckless here. So, for sense of security, being in this car right here make me feel pretty safe. Because if you hit this car with a Honda Civic or a Cord or one of these Toyota Camrys or whatever, you're going to kill yourself. This car is huge. It got this huge V8 in front of it okay it make me feel pretty secure all right the back huge humongous trunk let, matter of fact let me show you the trunk should i or is it not necessary no it's not even necessary right now but because i'm trying to make this video short this car is awesome if if you are a young man or I mean, I know, you know, younger guys like in their 20s and even early 30s will not think about buying a Lincoln. But if you are a man in your 40s, don't be ashamed to buy these cars. Let me close the windows and... And you... Is, it is silent. Okay? This car is running and you could barely hear anything. It is silent in here. And I've been in... I've been in, you know... In Mercedes and, and um, Lexus or whatever of course you know Lexus may have a little more refinements and this and that but man and also the price that I got this car was amazing I am NOT giving up this car anytime soon all right let's take a little ride in this car and um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna give about five minute drive in this car so people know what it's like now my 